hello welcome back to the tarot closet welcome if you're new to the channel thank you so much for joining me taurus sun moon rising venus signs welcome to another taurus tarot reading taurus love tarot reading taurus love reading and as is very often whoa <laughs> your cards are going wild taurus as is very often the case here at the tarot closet this is also a Taurus love messages reading. Channeled messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Taurus, I'm channeling for you in December 2023, and you could be here in real time. You could also be here many months, even years later, and that is because this is a timeless reading. This is a faded connection, Taurus. You are here when you're meant to be here. It means there's a message here for you today. So welcome whenever you're here. And by the way, if you celebrate the holidays and however you celebrate and wherever you are, happy holidays to you. I know not everybody does, but as you can see, I'm channeling in real time at the holidays. So I need to mention it, of course. The bottom of the deck is the Fool card and the Ten of Swords. So there is a clean slate energy here and... Taurus, somebody apologizing. Your person, this is Aquarius energy, Uranus energy, the Ten of Swords, of course, Gemini and Mars energy. So what happened? Of course, no contact, no communication and or in separation reading because they're wanting to, well, they're, they're not just apologizing. They're actually asking for forgiveness and wanting a new start. This is a clean slate energy, Taurus. Okay, so that already wanted to be revealed, of course. All the decks that are coming in are down below. I'm gonna try to get through this really fast. All the zodiac signs, all playlists are also down there. Of course, you, Taurus, and all zodiac signs. All signs, tarot readings, all signs, tarot. Those are love readings for the collective. If you are on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings also below and a lot more. So feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general reading, a general tarot reading. So take what resonates. Let the rest go. And as always, whatever is coming for you, possibly in reverse. It's an, a message that maybe wasn't, was, wasn't meant for you, but it is. That's how it goes. And it was meant for you. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much for that. And it goes without saying thank you for being here today. Let's see what else is coming through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards for Taurus. Aho. It's the Page of Swords in reverse, the Two of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. That's your energy, Taurus. Venus and Taurus. Yeah, you've been waiting for your person to work something out here. You're almost, there's, you're here today. You love your person. They love you. This is where their energy is the strongest, Taurus. Two of Cups is here there today. Venus and Cancer energy. So also, also possibly getting ready to, to move forward here. And you've been waiting for them to work something out. This is here in the partnership placement. The Two of Pentacles. Capricorn and Saturn energy. For some of you, this is literally around commitment issues, just problems with committing. But it can be, of course, a lot more than that. There's a lot under there. What is that other pentacle? One of them is yours. Is somebody here in a karmic situation romantically or otherwise? Possibly. It's going to be different really for everybody, but I will tell you, you're here and there's something else here. So is that romantic? Is it family of origin? Interference possibly? Cultural, religious differences? Timing. Somebody's here, somebody's there, kind of back and forth. Distance, work, money, what is it? And again, that page of swords in reverse is interesting because it's kind of like you are not even, uh, yeah, there's a frustration. I feel your frustration. You've been waiting here. You know, there's the six of pentacles here on the tree and the seven of pentacles. And that's the moon in Taurus. That's also more energy. And that's waiting to, for them to open up and communicate and a giving reciprocal energy here. And they're leaning on your staff, having a really good think about this. Of course, it's the seven of pentacles, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. You have free will. Everyone has free will. So one foot out the door, yeah, thinking about what you want to do. Do you want to put that pentacle back there? And wait, you love, this is clearer. They love you and you love them. 
and I do feel they're getting ready to make some kind of decision here, whether that's just around communication. Whoa, yeah, that's around communication <laughs> or more. There is a turning point coming here and I think they might be reaching you in time because you've been waiting. That's also an eight, it's an action number. It's working something out here because the two of pentacles is just got some other things going on, trying to balance. Look, they're on one foot here on skating on, on ice. Isn't that interesting? So something in their life. That eight, of course, is also around karma, working it out. What are they trying to work out? Because that's also infinity. So for some of you, it's around twin flame energy. It's not for everyone, but it is here today. Twin flame energy, two of cups, also soulmate energy. But that's also that infinity symbol is connected to... Libra, look what's at the bottom here, judgment. We're going to get a lot more, don't worry. And that's also balance. So it's both balancing. <laughs> it's this, it's the decision, it's the renewal here. And it's also balancing the divine feminine, divine masculine energies to come from a place of truth and clarity within to be able to bring that forward. Because there is kind of a little bit of a a little bit of a lot of a fear energy in the Page of Swords in reverse, not bringing the truth needing to work this out. It's just incredibly clear. And of course, the renewal. And look at that. We'll talk about judgment in a moment, but the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, they're wanting to, to I want to say, whether it's a phone call or a message, they're wanting to have a conversation. They're wanting to open up dialogue that, that you love each other. They love you too. Is that what you've been waiting for here? Is that the decision that they're making? Or could it be more? This can be really big proposals. It can be talking again, seeing each other for the first time, or again, whatever your situation is, because some of you, this is a long distance energy. And it can be even marriage. Whatever the case is, you've been waiting and there is a turning point coming here because look at that wake up call coming through. Judgment, Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions, just wanting to bring everybody together for the greater good. Past energy, your person coming in, reconciliation here. Can also be closure. Do I think that this is closure? I do in terms of a cycle. Do I think it's closure here? No, it's clear that this is a reconciliation. And this, we saw that coming through. They are asking for forgiveness. This is airing everything out. This is bringing the clarity the truth. This is your person from the past. This is the past energy coming in here. Archangel Gabriel, judgment energy, of course, 20, coming to a two, the partnership, balance, bringing, making a decision, balancing things out, being honest. Archangel Gabriel saying, get some clarity, bring some clarity, make a decision, wake up. What do you want? Look what they want. It's the two of cups. They want a turning point here. This is what you've been waiting for too. How long has this wait been going on? How long have they been farting around here? <laughs> As my mom would say, in the two of pentacles, because this is the partnership placement. You are here, but what is that other pentacle again? The wheel of fortune is Jupiter energy. And that is the planet of prosperity and expansion. It's the biggest planet. In any case, yeah, it's, of course, Jupiter is connecting to the energy of luck, timing. Here, it's a turning point now. So have there been some timing issues here, Taurus? Your person ready for commitment, you not, you ready, they're not. That kind of feels more likely here in this energy because you've been waiting as they figure something out. Again, whether it's just around having trouble with commitment issues, you know, some immaturity possibly here coming through and being honest about how they feel because they love you, we can see that. Or is it something even more in depth connecting us to some higher font energy for some of you around what is that other pentacle? Possibly interference, work, money, location, cultural, religious differences. But this is the turning point here. This is the new start. Fate and destiny here. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Having figured out the riddle here, figuring out how to get the Sphinx to move. That's the transactional energy. That's moving the Wheel of Fortune, which is always, of course, it's the cycles of life. It's always changing here. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, you're in this energy too. Aquarius, fixed signs, don't really love change. And it's not just about your energy that it's here. It's also the energy of the Wheel of Fortune around your person. So what they have been afraid 
of dealing with here, whether it's commitment or something around that, whether it's third parties, work, location, whatever it is, there is a turning point here. They're finally getting off the rump and making a decision here in the Two of Cups, and it can be really big. It is a turning point. It's a turning donut. <laughs> this just makes me laugh. But that 10, of course, is the end of a cycle. It's the end of this cycle here. It's a completion of this, and it's the renewal. So that is coming through, and it's a super strong validation with the judgment here coming in. Archangel Gabriel. Gabrielle really validating that. So this energy of what you've been waiting for as they're farting around, it is changing. They're getting their wake up call and they're coming here and you're still here for it. Let's see if that energy is changing. And of course, you have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will and energies and outcomes. They can, they will, and they do change. So whether you make the decision to continue waiting or not, of course, you, I can see that that's on your mind as you're assessing the situation here. And this 10, and this is going bottoms up because this belongs in your reading. This 10, of course, is deducing to a one and that's the new beginnings, but it's also the potential that is here and it's taking the opportunity for that. And I wanna show you what just revealed, look, my gosh. Okay, so here's the thing about this energy. It's like, so the six of cups, wanting to be in your reading. The justice was coming in reverse and it kind of turned over and I'll tell you why in a moment, but we're still taking it in reverse. So when energy is coming in for me in my readings in this way, it's either kind of an indecisive energy or it's in the making. This is an apology in the making. We see here the wake up energy and the five of pentacles is coming here in reverse right below the seven of pentacles this is a, a card of loss it's your energy taurus mercury and taurus energy it's in reverse so this is coming back in it's a healing energy it's a well yeah it's them having figured some things out here this is them coming back in and we see it on a minor arcana level but we see it really strongly here in judgment in the wheel of fortune not just, there's the way your cards are coming in today. Look at this. There's something coming in here. I think it might be the three of wands in reverse. Anyway, it's yours. This is how your reading's coming in. So this is here. And this is in the making. What's in the making? It's an apology. It's the three of swords in reverse. It's Saturn and Libra energy. So this is the healing energy. This is the apology. Why? We saw this coming in here. <laughs> this is just really incredible how your reading is wanting to come in today so justice in reverse is coming in here is the fool coming did the fool come in anyway i feel like it did it did with the ten of swords that's the forgiveness so that's a really strong validation they are asking for forgiveness here they're hoping for a new start and really i want to say clean slate energy the fool is is back we saw that with the Ten of Swords, didn't we? <laughs> or maybe I'm just seeing it. In any case, Aquarius energy, Uranus energy, the, the Fool's journey, the Hero's journey. So this is the, the start. This is having, this is working it out and it's clean slate energy. It's like not carrying the baggage in. And this is staying here in this energy. Why? Because they are working on this apology. And it's validation of what we know with the Three of Swords, the, the breakup energy, the separation, the heartbreak. But this is coming back in here in a healing energy. And why are they apologizing? Well, for lying about how they feel, number one. Justice is here in reverse. Libra energy. Also, of course, Venus energy. And that is some dishonesty. Both maybe, I want to say around even themselves, but also for you. So this is apologizing for that directly. And we saw that in the Ten of Swords, and that's yours as well. This is uh, just the way your reading is coming down. This is <laughs> it's pretty wild, but this is how it is. So the, this apology, this communication that I feel coming in strong, either via message or phone call. For some of you, it might be in person, but it is quite strong that it's coming in. I want to say in a message or a phone call, but again, it could also be in person. It's definitely on the move. Look at this. And it's an impulsive energy. It's the Knight of Wands coming here in reverse, this Leo energy. So it's really impulsive. It might just be popping up as they come here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse and this fool just stepping right off the cliff here <laughs> and coming in impulsively because this cycle we see is getting worked out. So it's really clear. I mean, judgment has just validated that in so many ways here in your partnership placement. Wake up. What do you want? Jumping up, maybe even in the night 
picking up the phone or sending a message, whatever. The chariot here, moon and cancer energy. That's the moon energy. It's opening up. It's communicating. It's revealing. It's on the move. It's change. It's your journey. It can be physical travel for some of you too. My major arcana energy of this moving and it's going here. I know. It's where it wants to be. And because we see that it's been delayed, but it's a validation that it's not going to stay that way. And we already know that. The Three of Wands in reverse. This is the Sun in Aries energy. And that puts the Sun in reverse, which is a temporary energy. It's like waiting on the outcome that it's delayed. It's like tr tr trouble with it, of course. And it's a divine. It's a timing issue, too. I feel like for some of you, whether it's just who's available or who's ready or who's not, whatever. We see that here, but then we see it happening, the moving forward. Right here, the chariot and the fool, impulsively with <laughs> the knight of wands in reverse, connecting here with the two of cups, wanting to apologize for not being honest, still having some, some struggle with that as well. Four of pentacles coming through here, sun and Capricorn energy, they haven't let you go. They are working something out here. Look at that. But we see it coming here in judgment. We also see the new cycle here beginning. I, Time, timing on your side or now it's time, whatever that is, it's a turning point. Right here in the middle, right here also in between judgment and the page of swords in reverse. Four of swords coming here in reverse. And this is the last one I'm going to take here because the way your reading is coming in today is just wild. <laughs> it's kind of showing particular energies directly. Four of Swords, of course, we know the Three of Swords are here, and we also know that they're working on the Apology. So you see it here, and they're getting restless to bring that. This is an energy of, well, it's getting ready to act. They're restless. This is where you go after the Three of Swords. So Taurus, they really do want to apologize to you. They are working on that for lying. I want to say about how they feel and what else, and maybe even just about what they want. And whatever's been going on here in this Two of Pentacles that they've been needing to work out. Because you can see that it's getting worked out. And when it is, they're, they're just hopping on the chariot here fast. They figured out the riddle to get this Sphinx moving, this transactional energy. Holding onto the sword to get the Wheel of Fortune going. And you see it here with the chariot as well. Obstacles here. Both in their Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy. So trying to work that out to be truthful and clear with themselves to bring it to you because we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energies, but also the balance and the renewal here and then moving forward. They're getting restless and so are you. We know that in the seven of pentacles, you're kind of tired of waiting and actually I just, yeah. So <laughs> as I said that, this is what wanted to come in. It's the page of cups in reverse with the eight of cups in reverse. So this is around they are, this is around some of the separation and breakup energy. It's some immature energy here. What can I say? And it's coming here, look, with the Page of Swords in reverse and with the Eight of Swords in reverse, kind of like having learned their lesson, just coming here in a different way. It's the Eight of Cups in reverse coming back, Saturn and Pisces energy. So this is them coming back in here. Did they ghost you? Were they kind of slowly moving away? Whatever the case is, you can see that they were doing that. I mean, it's the Eight of Cups. That's an action number. But it's still an Eight, even when it's in reverse. And that is the return here. And look what is here. Five Cups in the front, which is putting that in reverse, which is more energy of, yeah, asking for forgiveness, coming in here and hoping for a second chance. Clean slate energy. Because look, those five cups are prominent in the front when they left. And that's the five of cups. And that's almost, that's like regret oh, as they were doing it, leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. There's a lot of regret there. They were doing it. Why? What is in this energy here? What is that other pentacle? Because they're coming back in here and they regret that because they do love you. And that's some of the truth that I feel like you're going to be hearing here. So, <laughs> so this is also what's coming through. And it's the Six of Wands in reverse, and it's the Six of Cups. So first of all, we're putting two sixes here together, and that's an energy of being out of balance. And yeah, we know that already. It's extremely clear, but we also know that that renewal and the balance and the truth and all of that is coming. So there is, there is a little bit of lack of confidence here, 
Jupiter and Leo energy and we see that Jupiter energy of things really changing. But this is kind of like the day-to-day -day minor arcana energy and it's just a little bit of fear, a little bit of lack of confidence, I want to say. And that's in what they want to say and how they want to say it. Because this is coming in, look, victoriously moving past some of those obstacles that I feel are within them. Something possibly external here too in that pentacle again around other people or places or locations or differences. But also there is some of that, I want to say, commitment or emotional unavailability, some fear that your person's been holding back. You see it here of trying to overcome that. There's this victory energy. It's a particularly emotional horse. It's in reverse. So there is a little bit of fear, I feel, also because it's connecting to what they want to say to you and how they're going to say it or when they're going to say it. And again, for some of you, well, for everyone, this is a new start. It's clear. It's just a matter of what. Is this only an apology or is this something bigger? Because the Two of Cups can be proposal energy here. But I will tell you, you're very much on their mind. Six of Cups, Sun and Scorpio energy, very lots of nostalgic energy. And also the Five of Cups here. Also within the Six of Cups, of course, and the Four and the Three. So it can be this reunion energy. For some of you, it's in person. It won't be for everybody, but it is communicative. I'll tell you that. And that Five of Cups of regret for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because it is just not true. There is a soul connection here. For some of you, this is your twin flame. It's not for everybody. There is also a soulmate connection. I'll always bring you through whatever, regardless of what that is. And some of you may have known your person for, well, since childhood, I want to say. But that's also the soul connection coming through. And this is, a lot of times, this is a dreamy energy for me. Here are the Six of Cups. It's not today. This is a reunion energy, so it's moving forward again. For some of you, it could be in person, but I feel really like it's more about reaching out and communicating, and that's what might be possibly just popping in impulsively in the middle of the night even because there's a lack of confidence in how they're coming. They want to. They're very anxious what they're saying or maybe how they're coming toward you. Uh, when they get that confidence, because Archangel Gabriel is literally like, get off your rump here. <laughs> you know, I feel in this night of wands in reverse that it's just going to be kind of out of nowhere. So this is wanting to reveal. And I really like this because as I talk about reveal, it's the truth. And something here also just revealed. What was that? I think, okay, look, this is just wild what's going on with your reading today. I'm going to have to leave it like this. I'm not looking at all these cards, but these are what are wanting to come, what, what's wanting to come. Five of Wands in reverse, Saturn and Leo energy. This is overcoming those obstacles. Look here, the delays, the lack of confidence, the challenges within themselves. That is quite literally delaying it. And the Three of Wands in reverse, that Sun and Aries energy, the temporary energy of waiting. They're bringing the truth of how they feel. And something else here. What is that offer? Queen of Swords, Libra ruled by Venus. It's having balance the energies. So to come from a place of truth and clarity, to bring that, it's what you've been waiting for. Give me that candy cane. <laughs> but transactional energy, truth, communication, overcoming what they need to and getting that moving forward here and contacting you and apologizing for sure. Apologetic energy is so incredibly strong and more. And it came down here, by the way, with temperance. It showed them. Temperance is all about the truth. Archangel Michael here, co-creating with Archangel Gabriel, of course, in judgment, the angel for protection, the angel for strength, wanting to light the way to the truth to get everybody to the truth for the highest good of everybody here, the best, highest path for the highest good. That's the sun there, the candy, the mint. <laughs> And of course, that's the outcome. It's a new cycle here. And it's coming with the truth. And also here with that six of pentacles, which is what you've been waiting for, the six pentacles here on that tree, the moon and Taurus energy, which is the communication, the opening up how they feel, the communicating in a different way, being honest. That's the giving energy you've been waiting for. That's it. The truth. Look at this. It's so incredibly clear. And what is... <laughs> 
I can't with your reading. My gosh, the way it's been coming down today is just wild. So that's the last I'm going to take. I'm not taking what's under there unless they fly out of my hand. <laughs> that's what they're working on. Look here, coming with the truth. Look at the six pentacles here as well. That's connecting directly here with temperance and queen of swords. And, and I love that because justice has been in reverse here and they're sorry for not being honest about how they feel and what else because it's connecting with the apology they're working on and that middle kind of energy here with the three of swords in reverse. And the queen of swords is, is like the protege, I want to say, <laughs> the the apprentice to justice, who's like, come on here, if you're not going to get up right, then I'm bringing in Archangel Michael, temperance here. We're bringing the truth. We're working on the truth. It's what literally what they're doing, bringing that to you. And here you are in that seventh pentacle still here as they work away on this karmic cycle, whatever that is, and that two of pentacles, I tell you, and whatever they're needing to work on in the four of pentacles, they're doing it. They're doing it. And that's also, again, the, the infinity connection and the balancing energies in the new cycle and coming with the truth. Manifesting abundance here. What are they bringing in that two of cups? Your reading has been incredibly clear. Okay, I want to bring in some oracle. We're shuffled and we're ready to go. I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck first. And I'm not reading oracle in reverse, by the way. That sounded like Dr. Seuss, <laughs> hammering things out, look, literally, forging ahead here, chariot, the pentacle energy, it's slow moving, you know, but it is around con commitments, of course, relationships, connections, and it's everything. It's not just you, it's whatever else here they're working on, because there is a situation, there's some, some karmic debt, some karmic cycle that is needing to be worked out and we see it actually coming judgment is here for that as well forging ahead working it out i really like this a lot look at this so as i said <laughs> i'm not reading it in reverse but it's pretty ironic because this is the stagnation and this is the lack of that this is the the energy moving in any case it's moving anyway we don't need to see it in reverse because it's melting and that's the divine energy and it's also the emotional energy and it's the communication and it's around timing and it's communicating. It's ending the stagnation here. Uh, inner growth. I love this. Look at this. And that is bringing in, didn't we have the emperor here? I don't know if we had the emperor here. Am I imagining that? I don't know. Why do I feel like the emperor is here? I'm not seeing the emperor. What? The emperor just came in. Aries and Mars energy and it's also and it really came in here in the Ram leadership card so this is taking the taking it by the horns you know coming in here work, they're working this out and moving forward here this is also chariot energy it's incredibly strong look the inner growth also what they're working out it's the two of pentacles it's the four of pentacles it's the eight of pentacles what they're needing to work out and see and be honest with themselves and clear and be able to bring that to you I like this persistence energy of the snail, but I do feel like it's been slow. You know, they're kind of slow moving, but it's slow and steady is that they say wins the, ra wins the race. I'm kind of tongue-tied. Interesting. That's kind of how they're, I feel, coming. Snails can go underground for two years, around about, and they can come up and just keep going right on their path. And this is that energy of the past, your person coming in here with the judgment energy and just airing it out, asking for forgiveness, being honest and clear with themselves, therefore being clear with you. It's a really, I like this matter of fact energy of what they're coming in, but there's also a lot of sentimental, emotional energy and love here. It's a really nice mix. Persistence. Uh, yeah, they're they're just they're they're working it out. I don't think they're going anywhere. They haven't let you go, Taurus. I want to bring in a little more. I want to move the energy. Then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. Flag devotion. That's you. Change the sun vitality, the outcome. That's connecting to temperance. It's the new cycle. The sun, it's, you know, yeah, it's the energy, it's the warmth, it's connecting, of course, with Leo and also the crown chakra and working things out for a new beginning, a successful, happy one. It's quite a 
beautiful card. And that's the color. <laughs> Sorry about that. The camera just died right before my eyes. I wasn't paying attention till it was too late. In any case, that sun here also with the leaves of change, needing that sun, you know, needing, needing the water, needing everything here. And yeah, a chance for things to grow, for things to illuminate, to be seen, the conscious energy. I really like this a lot and this outcome, forging ahead, things changing, both of you. I see here, look, there's a little wounding here on this leaf. So I, I it hasn't, things have changed. I think there is some hurt. I see that and they're acknowledging that. They're needing to come here with the truth. They're needing to apologize, but things are also changing here. These are yours. That is yours. I think that's it. Bull resistance. Yeah, that has been the case here for sure. And um, this is coming out of this energy. Look, it's this eclipse here. You know, it's not, and that's your energy too, Taurus. <laughs> Interesting. And Taurus, you know, you're in the Wheel of Fortune. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. And the Seven of Pentacles here. So there's a little bit of resistance around you too. That's interesting. But that is also coming by way of your person. And it's not about the Zodiac sign. It's the energy. And there has been a lot of that. But that's totally changing here. Whether it's just commitment or working out whatever they've been farting around taking forever to work out. This eclipse, it doesn't last. This resistance is uh, really, for me, turning into the persistence and the snail not trying to be funny, but <laughs> sometimes I feel like I sound like Dr. Seuss. So these are the last energies coming through. Wow, yeah, I like this. So grape, development, and by the way, the flag, devotion. Yeah, I mean, that's connecting here, I feel, to the two of you. Interesting here, and is that, is that a crow? There's looks like there's a star on the crow. It's on what is a staff, really, in many ways, a wand, a fast energy, kind of waving it also. Well, yeah, expressing themselves how they feel about you, too. That is just really strong here. I don't know if they were holding it back from other people or it was just you. An emotional availab unavailability has, I feel like, has been here. I keep seeing the Emperor, Aries energy, the um, Mars energy as well. But, yeah, that's changing now. And this is connecting with the King of Pentacles. This is also about new beginnings and development. And look, there are those two leaves here, also here. On the grape, the grape, bunch of grapes, I want to say, on the vine, which is wand energy. Interesting how they're connecting, exploring where you're going here, look, and accomplishing that. So this is really strong, also judgment energy of reconciliation. Of the, your person here, whether this your pa the past is from really far back or it's a, a newer energy, whatever it is, they're coming back in here. This is airing it all out, truth, clarity, asking for forgiveness. It can be closure for some of you, as in everyone's moving on, but I don't feel that at all. This feels like reconciliation. You're still here. There's lots of love and apologetic energy here trying to work some things out, and this is accomplishing that. It's the crown that's connecting here with the sun energy, this outcome. It's the crown chakra connecting here. That's also connecting with temperance, restoring balance, harmony, working things out, the accomplishment energy for a happy outcome, and figuring out what direction you're going, literally. So this is the conversation, the communication, whether it's in person or online or whatever it is, and working things out together, exploring where, where things can be going, because there's still a lot of potential here. There is a turning point here. Taurus, your reading has been incredibly clear. I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from your person, channeled messages from your person, messages from their higher self. I just want to turn it around a little. I'm going to close my eyes. Whatever's falling out or coming out is yours. You inspire a love in me I never knew. I miss you. 
That's very much the Six of Cups and Nostalgic Energy. We were destined to meet. Fate and destiny. That's the Wheel of Fortune here. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a really strong apologetic energy. That's the Three of Swords. That's what they're working on. One of many things of bringing here. We have a deep soul connection. Six of Cups, Two of Cups. Look, the lovers in reverse wanting to reveal here. Regret. That's regret. It's Gemini energy. It's Venus as well. This is, this is regret for, I feel like, again, in that Eight of Cups, just leaving how they left, making leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. We know they love you in that Two of Cups, that Six of Cups energy. This is the regret. It's a bad decision. I feel the way they left, how they left things, lack of communication, possibly some things that were said. It can be around some breakup energy. So it can be that there were some things said or some arguing, but they're filled with regret here. There's so much regret also for not being honest, which is what they want to be here about how they feel, because there is a fear that they've either, they don't want to lose you here. It's really clear in that Four of Pentacles. And there's a fear around that. You are my person. The wake up energy is strong in judgment. Realizing that they made a mistake. That they were, I'm hearing that I was stupid. Because you are my person. It's, it's here with that reversal energy with the regret. I miss you too. So telepathic conversations going on here. And it can be your your. Picking up messages, of course, in your life in general through music, through synchronicities, repeating numbers, dreams, whatever you are connecting and feeling it, that's true. But it's also coming through here now. Really strong connections here to telepathy, the two of you. I miss you. I miss you too, literally here. We're going to keep them with the Six of Cups. I'm trying to send you a message. Yeah, that's also been really strong. There's a little bit of that lack of confidence of exactly how to say it or what to say. We were meant to meet. That's more. Wheel of Fortune, Fate, and Destiny. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Lots of apologetic energy has been coming through early on with the Ten of Swords coming in in reverse and the Fool energy also coming here in the Three of Swords, which they're working on. I made so many mistakes. Yeah. Please forgive me. A lot of that. I made so many mistakes. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. These are the last two. Look, they're stuck together. I have so many regrets. That's the lovers in reverse that wanted to show itself here at the end of your reading. Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing, just wanting to fix, fix what's broken, you know. They regret, I feel like, how they left because that came in really clearly, uh, very clear. It was very clear in the Eight of Cups in reverse. They're sorry for that as well. The last message coming through, I made so many mistakes. There's two here. Strong validation. I made so many mistakes. I have so many regrets. That's going here. Beautiful, beautiful Taurus, that's your reading today. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate it a lot. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps get the video out to more people and, of course, keeps the channel moving and healthy. So thank you for that. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for being here today. I wish you well. I wish you the very best outcome. And I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, 